Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Tuesday over here in the Atlantic. One main area of interest, probably the best looking tropical disturbance we have had all season so far, sitting over here in the southeast bay of Campeche, slowly organizing over here and is a threat. Monsoonal in nature here over Central America, you can see the broadness of the system over here, rather large, going to take a little bit of time for this to try to get together, but if we zoom in on this here, you can see that there's a broad low center right in here, and uh, it may not be closed off yet. It'll be trying to throughout the day. Not sure there's any westerly winds here south of that center, but it is trying to wrap up a little bit here. And uh, there are indications that this will be trying to close off today. We're going to hopefully get a recon airplane in there this afternoon if the NHC thinks it is warranted, which I believe it will be. If you look at the buoy here in, this, in the central bay of Campeche, here we go. Pressures are falling. Winds are going up. And uh, this is going to start deepening. This is now starting to fall outside of the diurnal pressure cycles over here. It looks like it tried to go up for its normal cycle, and then now it's going down again. It'll be interesting to see if it continues to fall here. We we'll want to see that pressure get all the way down uh, under 1,006, down to 1,005 millibars to see that this is actually trying to deepen. As of right now, it's only down to 1,007. We'll see how low this goes. The buoy is right over here somewhere, and the center is still back here. So as this starts to move west northwest west it'll come by that buoy and we'll get a decent reading on what the pressure probably is now if we look at the water vapor in here Again, we have an upper trough over the northwest Gulf of Mexico, and you can see the dry air here showing its presence. It's pressing down on this, bringing some shear. Wind shear is still not that great. It's moderate over the northwest quadrant of the system over here, and you can see most of the convection is confined to the moist area. And this is backing southwest or westward away from the system, and this other piece here is going to be moving off this way, which is going to allow this ridge to start building in a little bit more above the system during the next 24 to 48 hours. And with this upper low back here also providing ventilation on the eastern side we're gonna have to watch for upper level conditions to suddenly be very favorable on top of the system and once this uh, low finds the, that conditions are favorable it's probably going to try to strengthen a little bit more steadily than it is right now and again on the European 1001 millibar low in 48 hours just east of Tampico Mexico getting ready to make landfall this is tropical storm Arlene on the model and um, I have said that this would struggle to get past depression status. The thing about these kinds of systems is it's got several things going for it. Let me try to refresh this for you guys here, get those frames out of there. I guess it's not going to let me. But if we look at this one instead, you can see that the low is fairly broad in here. And uh, these broad monsoonal lows can take a while to spin up. So it's going to be hard to get this significantly strong. However, the Campeche coastline is curved. And it's cyclonically curved, if you want to think about it that way. And these curved coastlines can act to force winds towards the center of a storm much quicker due to the frictional effects, which can wind these systems up fairly fast. The Bay of Campeche is notorious for having storms develop fast within it if uh, things like dry air and shear aren't overcoming a system. So we could easily have this become a tropical depression tonight, move towards Tampico, Mexico, and be tropical storm, tropical storm Arlene before a landfall. Uh, that's not a guarantee. We'll have to see what the recon plane finds later today, and if this truly does try to strengthen right now, convection is not really organized into any kind of a structure right now. It's just randomly firing near the broad low center. If we see it try to get a little bit structured today, I think we have a chance at seeing this classified by tonight uh, or early tomorrow morning, and then from there it's going to have another 24 hours to 36 hours before landfall with which to strengthen. You could easily see this because a weak tropical storm and this could easily be our first named storm of the season before landfall so we're gonna have to watch this very closely and you can see how this pattern has worked out we've got this area of heat building up in here which I mentioned almost two weeks ago would be a problem during the last week of June and we can see something is now sitting here and we'll see whether we can get this to develop main problem with this will be rains for Central America and Mexico over here as this makes landfall winds probably not going to be too big of an issue chances of this winding up extremely strong are very slim probably not going to happen this will be a weak tropical storm at maximum I believe as this makes landfall in here and folks will just have to watch for rainfall extreme South Texas may get some rain bands it's asking for a lot don't expect a lot from the system but you may get a few rain bands once that upper trough moves out and clears out the dry air but don't expect a whole lot of rain out of this so 
here we are, folks. The beginning of the 2011 Atlantic hurricane season may be upon us in earnest now as our first storm forms. And behind this, we'll have to watch for more development. Uh, next week, in the first week to 10 days of July, the pattern is going to remain active. Nothing shown on the models for now, but we will be watching, especially behind this upper low here that's east of uh, our tropical disturbance. As this moves west following 95L inland, we'll see this ridge ballooning behind it moving back into the Caribbean, and we may have to watch the Caribbean again at some point during the next week to 10 days for yet more mischief. So we shall see what happens. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.